Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 7.0, and today is day eight. So we're continuing our training inside of the Contacts applet, and today we're gonna to talk about, well, what do we do with the contact we no longer want in our database? Perhaps it's a contact that called us back and said, hey, we don't wanna work with you, take us off your list. Maybe they say, hey, we actually got our own realtor license, we don't need your help. Maybe they were in you know, a duplicate or they were added on accident. There could be an entirely you know, large set of regions why you might remove a contact from your database. But we're gonna go ahead and go through that process. You've got a couple of different ways to do it. If it is a single contact, so let's just talk about Jennifer Parker here. We can click on the three dots on the far right-hand side and we can choose archive here. We can click on Jennifer's name and then click on the three dots and choose archive here, or we can actually do archive as a bulk action. So if we wanted to archive more than one contact, we could go through the bulk action option archive here, which we talked about yesterday. So think about archive as the first step in a two-step process to remove someone completely from your database. Archiving them is kind of like putting them in timeout they're technically still in your database. However, they're just not gonna show up in contacts. So if we click on the three dots here and go this first route, we would click on archive. It says, are you sure you'd like to archive this contact? You can restore contacts from the contact archive page in command settings. We'll say, yep, let's go ahead and archive Jennifer. So right now, Jennifer is still in command. She's just not in our contacts. Like I said, kind of like purgatory, she's hanging out, she's not quite gone, she's not quite here, she is in timeout. So in order for us to completely remove Jennifer from our database, we do need to take a second step. And that's going to be going into the settings menu here on the top right hand corner, we click on this down arrow next to our name, go into the settings menu, and then from there, essentially, we would want to go into command settings, and then contacts, and finally the contact archive. So again, that's command settings, contacts, contact archive. And this is where we would locate any of those contacts that had previously been archived and yet not deleted. So here's Jennifer Parker, she's hanging out in timeout. It'll even show us that she was archived today. And so we've got two options at this point. We can delete Jennifer permanently, and it's even gonna say, are you sure? Or if this was an accident, we didn't mean to archive her, we can choose to restore. On this archive screen, you do have the ability to show up to 50 contacts at once. And if you have more than 50, 10 or 25, you can page through using the right arrow and the left hand arrow as well. You do have bulk actions inside of the archive screen as well. So you can see if you click on one or more contacts, you can restore all of those contacts that you have selected at once, or you can delete all of those contacts that you have selected at once as well. Now it's important to note, while a contact hangs out inside of the archive, their email and phone number is technically still active inside of command. So if we attempted to re-import or manually add Jennifer to our database and she still had an email address or a phone number that was matching the one we were putting in again, the import or contact add would actually fail because the dedupe system inside of command is saying, hey, you already have a contact that matches either that email or that phone number, even though they're not in your list. So it's one thing to check if you're ever doing a contact import and you get a failed CSV file, right? Which we talked about kind of back on day, uh, what was that four and five, I believe. Um, go check your archive, make sure your archive is clean. It's probably a best practice to check this periodically and really be sure, hey, yep, I definitely don't want Jennifer in my database anymore. So I'm gonna click the trash can icon. I'm gonna click on okay. And now if we do a quick refresh, we will see that Jennifer is gone from our contact archives. She gone there. She is no longer inside of our contact database. She is no longer inside of command. At this point, if we wanted to re-import or manually add her back in, we could, and the dedupe system would not recognize her phone number or email 
because it no longer exists in the database. So that's essentially the walkthrough of how to go through deleting contacts out. Remember, it's a two-step process. You got to archive them, and then you got to delete them permanently. Best practice, go through and check that archive regularly. And if for any reason you accidentally archive someone, then you can go in and restore them as well. So that's a quick video today, really short, but just wanted to make sure you understood, all right, what happens if I need someone deleted out? What happens if I archive someone accidentally? What happens if I get an error message on importing a contact, but I can't find them in my contact list? Chances are they most likely exist inside of your contact archive. That's it for today, guys. I hope you're having a fantastic day. And as always, I look forward to talking to you again real soon.